everybody, my name is Sonic and keep in mind I am not the Sonic. And today we're gonna take on the Patriot of Chroma Squad. Which, as you can see on this title thing, is a tactical RPG inspired by Seven's Power Rangers. Okay, so that was actually the the theme song, I guess. Now then, uh, what do I want to do? Game difficulty. You want to prove your mastery of the game and means are very strong and will seek out, explode and weak party members. I am definitely not doing that. You want to test your tactical ability as well as your studio and your choices? You are not afraid of failing with that inventory. Uh, you are used to playing RPGs, but you don't want to think too hard to try the same Zod more than once. Uh, that might be the one for me. You want to just sit back and enjoy the story. Choose items and studio upgrades based on taste, preserve and stats. Yeah, I think interesting would be the one for me. Changing and Eric would probably be more uh, for a friend of mine. Once upon a time, I had a TV studio just like any other. And set friend of mine is the one who made the request and gifted the game. So thanks to him for gifting the game. Super Rangers, it is time for all men to get in the scene. Hurry up! And where are the minions? The hell? There we go, we're all set for this part. Effects will come later. I guess we're liking some story, huh? Yeah, but Dr. Soul doesn't enjoy it that much. This is getting really boring, I'm kind of tired of... Stop talking while you're recording. Bad of them, or should I remind you? That you may click to either walk or choose the monsters that you want to attack. DB3 enemies! Sounds like the perfect objective to me. and fast forward the dialogue. Alright. Let's get rid of you people. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Simple enough. This is one of the best episodes I have seen so far in the season. He always says that as long as we are defeating the monsters really easy. I heard you. 
Now I want some micro bandits. We can add some explosions to them later. What kind of a... Let me finish talking. Jeez. You should use a teamwork maneuver to cast people around so we can move further. If you still don't get a word I said... Use teamwork and click on those yellow cells. Get in position. Okay, we're ready. Ready to perform two acrobatics. Okay. And a one. There we go, mission accomplished. The enemy has done nothing good. Another perfect scene. Pick that enemy to tell you what to do all the time. Oh boy. Now show the other some more teamwork. You know how it works. Attack a minion when someone is using teamwork next to it. I thought you guys won't hurt me. Numbers. I accomplished. Great job. Keep it like that. I'm loving this. Move now so the boss can teleport into the set. Where's that big girl in the monster suit? This is how you're going to do this. Don't burn your training. Put four of your Edison's monster in, the, in teamwork. And then attack the monster. Everyone around the will help you out. Everyone around will help you out. This is what we call a finishing move. Why is he in his face again? We've done this so many times already. It is like telling people what to do, I guess. The monster will blow up when you do the finishing move. I need five of you to do it together. Shouldn't we fight the monster before the finishing move? This is rash. I just want to judge it. I never want to hear you say I want it that way. Alright then. Finish it! Alright. I almost forgot to use teamwork. And then... Finish it! Chroma power! There we go! You are so strong! Explended! Now for the grand finale! The huge monster explosion! No! Wow! The best explosion ever! This is ridiculous! And not even a giant robot fight! Hey! Tigers are sitting in their chairs! We still don't do much of the recovery! And besides! This is so silly. We always record in the studio. We should go outside to a different place. Come on, people. I'm sure it's not that bad. I'm listening. Why can't we own our very own studio? Oh. My. That's just the perfect idea. Come me in. What? Are you having Super Rangers? I'm in too. Let's do this. I finally did the studio that isn't fun to work at, Dr. Soap. 
Bye bye, Dr. Soap. Oh, and please stop being so mean to your employees. You can't. At least leave the suits at the door! And they did not. The stuntman met a moment later, still dressed in their old studio spending suit. They talked about how they could start their own studio and record their first episode. After a few minutes, an idea popped. One girl has a warehouse not far from here, we could use it. Alright, that could be a start. Might just be what we need. Let's go there now. Arriving at the warehouse, everyone got very excited because of the size. And how we could take advantage of all that available space. So we're looking around and thinking about camera positions. Someone spotted something. A huge pillar in the very center of the warehouse, covered in some sort of dirty spread sheet. No one knew what it was under it. Where are those stunt actors? Oh, there they are. I need to return my studio spending suits. But wait, what is that? I just keep watching. Then. I'm curious to knock at someone's door and the sheet was removed. Amazing! An incredible replica of a device used in the Native American Hero TV series! Someone plugged in the energy cable and the machine said it's welcome to say it out loud. Hello, my name is Cerebro. This is an example message. Type the words in my bag display and I shall text to speak them. Everyone's eyes shined. Wow, let them have those clothes. I know what I actually want from them now. I'll take some previous plan. I'm out. We're just looking for a place to set up our studio record, but... Now we also have the several thing to support our story. It's amazing. Yes, this is it. Just ask your uncle for this too. Our future friends will love it. Will do. I think he'll be happy to lend us anything, including the warehouse. Hooray! Everyone get our new products at home and let's beat up tomorrow. We have plenty of work to do. Sarah, bro. Isn't that the thing that uh, Professor Xavier puts in his head to remind us from far away? I'm in wrong. So the group of friends decided to take different paths in their lives. Later that day, the clothes were returned to their old bus. And after a few weeks, with a contract ready to be signed... We finally have everything we need to start recording and start about that. Conditions. For the first contract that is worth a thousand dollars. Record season finale after recording four other episodes. The contract will be cancelled if the number of fans is lower than zero. Wait, how can you have a number of fans lower than zero? I mean, that doesn't make sense. How can you be having less than zero fans? I can how can you have less than nobody? Alright, let me think. Choose the name of your studio. I mean, you know me. I would probably go with something like Sonic Incorporated. Because right now it's Mighty Incorporated, and when I see that, all I can think is Mighty Number 9, and nobody wants to be thinking about that. Nobody wants to think of such a horrible thing. Uh, ah, fuck it. So I can cooperate as we go. Alright, oh, I need to make my team. Let's see. This is the lead. Alright, who do we got in the lead? Let's take a look. 
I have a guy. A panda? No, I don't want a panda in the lead. Export survivalist. This is a survival order of fans. I need to take a look at the stats because I remember that I picked interesting where the stats actually mattered. The side won't treat me like the water. No. Oh well, no. Experience in sci fi movies and career trainings. 10% health, pistol damage. Hmm. It might be the one because uh, that means pistol damage is probably attacking from range, and I know my Lee. In most games, I usually pick the Lee that attacks at a range. Oh, I just noticed his name. <laughs> he came from outer space. <gasps> Pretty boy, he's here just to raise your audience. <laughs> I call her kiss and this young may look remarkable, but a secret progressing moves. Kicks out her back here. <laughs> At least miss, she does not take no for an answer. A beaver! Passionate defender of technology. Huh. <coughs> oh! Uh, technology! Takey has things to do with technology. Maybe I like him as my Takey. Dude, Lee. Trade in the mountain of China is a lead actor in all major fighting movies all of all time. Yeah. Expert in boxing and monster punching. Hmm. Hold on. Let me find time again. The alien name is Color. Oh my god. Yeah, you know what? I'm going with. I know my techie will be my the beaver. Where's the beaver? Oh, there it is. All right, I sold. Oh, oh, mouse me and already makes sense. Let's see the others, but I think I'd be going with the, with her. I think we shall be the assist. Let's see. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Maybe. Give it emotion, me. Assist. Wait, I forgot. Who did I want as assist? Ah, uh, let's see. Woo! Hmm. Hit Grill Johnson. Reduce 20% skill regen ills when using teamwork. Jesus. Expert in Mei Tai Kickboxing. Hmm. survives all this fan. What the fuck is that? He is bound by only two of his mother's law. <coughs> 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 
<coughs> That's a robot. Oh, for the stand crafting quality rate. Maybe? Let's see the others. I want a robot. Yeah. R R five D four O one. I'll take it. All right. Hopefully this will end up being a good team and not a shitty team. I guess we'll find out soon enough, right? You're about to confirm your squad setup. There is no turning back for this save game. Your game has been saved. Alright, so that is the beginning of Chroma Squad. I'm not gonna start recording an episode because I know it's already been on at least 20 minutes already. But let me read my mail. Props and etc. Hello, hello, how are you all doing? My name is Herbus Barreto. I am a master of crafting props for movies and TV. Some of my wares that have special boost bonuses. Make sure to visit my shop. How do I get out of here? Let's see. Ooh. Okay. So. Oh, I see. Okay. What the hell? What the fuck was that? Hmm. Wait. Okay, this is the lead. You can raise your arms all the way up. I remember my lead was uh, supposed to be attacking from far away, right? Pushing the punches a bit. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go with this one. If I remember correctly. Oh, well, no. Okay, if I get. <coughs> it's not much, but right there you see a special effect. Okay. See the fleshy assist. So. I didn't buy anything for this guy. You know what? I'm gonna set a 525. No, I'm not gonna set up. Under power, that's right, stop. Alright. Hopefully, I don't regret my choices. We'll find out soon enough. For the time being, thank you all for watching, and see you all. Next time on the construction of Chroma Squad, and that was a cat in the background. Anyway, see you soon, folks.